Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to a vlog. I feel like I haven't vlogged in ages, so it's actually nice to hold this setup again. It's kind of weird in my hands though. I haven't done it in a while. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're enjoying the other style of videos. So I'm trying to add some more like information, teachery kind of stuff. And also I would love shooting B-roll on a, it's like my new favorite lens, this little 50 millimeter. Uh, anyways, so the topic is uh, this virus that's been passed uh, going around China. So I get, figure most of you guys know like, you know, we're just south of the border. So uh, most of Vietnam's kind of like mentally prepped. So I wanted to just sit down for a minute and talk about it, especially with me and Hung. So she knows more a lot of the news in Vietnamese. So I just jump to the couch and keep going. All right, what's up? Did you miss her? I feel like you haven't seen her in like weeks. Yeah, I'm so busy though. Yeah, she's been working with her mom, so. Just, I'm just doing my own thing, so that's why the videos maybe look different and that's why the thumbnails are kind of crappier because she's not making them. <laughs> so anyways, coronavirus. Uh, I'm actually off of work this week. So uh, first week of February, we're not even working. The whole center is shut down uh, and we're coming in to do some admin but the students aren't coming back for an entire week. I think it's the same through schools in yeah. Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. They're all shut they down. They shut down the schools. So it looks like uh, they're being very preventative because how many cases do we have now as of February now, like, 4th? 10, 10 Vietnamese. Yeah. As a virus. And uh, most of them always like come back from China. So, or have a family member come back from China. That's how they get the infection. So overall, it looks like none of them have spread from those people to anybody else, right? Mm. So they've gone, I'm, I've actually been impressed. I just Skyped with my mom this morning and I was saying how I'm really impressed that like both of us are impressed with like how the government's like treating, handling this. Like they're doing a really good job. I don't know what you think of what it is from the Vietnamese side, but I feel like they're doing a good job. No, I mean like first time, uh, I mean like the government take this serious from like, uh, I mean uh, to protect everybody from the disease. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So now like, I mean, the first time in my life, I see everybody uh, like wearing mask when they, I mean, like, even inside the house. So like yeah. people take that very like seriously about yeah. the disease, the virus. So always remember bring yeah. the mask with you. Yeah, I mean, it, the, the mask is actually a really good point. Uh, I, I, I had to wear it at school because our school was open this past weekend and like everybody was required to wear a mask, like staff and students. And you know what, if you have both parties wearing the mask, the odds of getting sick, I, I feel, are pretty small. Yeah. Like, no matter what kind of mask, just to stop the crap from coming out of your mouth onto other people. So, so far, I'm knocking on wood, but I just wanted to give you all an update, or we wanted to give you an update, that like, everything is pretty okay here in Vietnam, and from your mom's customers who are in talking to people in China, they're saying that it's not that bad. Yeah. There, so it seems from their point of view that a lot of the media is actually uh, blowing this out of proportion that they're making it seem worse than it really is. Yeah. Uh, and then like should read the information from like the, um, I mean like uh, government sites because now like there's a lot of people wanna get the view. So they try to give you like a fake uh, information on Facebook, social media. So be careful. Yeah, there's always fake news. We're used to it in America, I think. Just try to like <laughs> scare people. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's a big like thing going around like I know people are like petrified, but like it's really not that bad Like, you know, as long as you're cleaning your hands like mm -hmm. can, can you grab that? So like like as long as like I carry this around when we go to work, you know, just so you can like like uh, clean up your hands a little bit but uh, You know and then you're wearing the mask and yeah. you're pretty much gonna be pretty okay You know, it's not that bad here in Vietnam. So Hopefully it'll stay that way. I think they're pretty good at quarantining the people who do get sick. And they've been already, what, one person got better? Two people got better already? Yeah, like they, they I mean, yeah. I mean, 100% back and then they left the hospital. Okay. So yeah, seems the situation seem like under control. Yeah. And I think that that's the thing that they've been doing now by shutting down the schools is that anybody who does have symptoms or is sick, they have a week now to like develop those symptoms so that they can be isolated before yeah. they accidentally infect like everybody. Uh -huh. The schools here have like 50 students in a classroom. So if one of them was sick, that would just be a disaster. So they're avoiding that, which is great. And it means I get more paid time off, which is sweet. 
That's what I've been I'm like. I'm still working now. Yeah. I'm worried that she's gonna get sick because she deals with people all the time. <laughs> so yeah, try to protect yourself and protect the people out. So wear yeah. the mask and take care of your health. Yeah. Uh, t t vitamin C, that's what my mom says, mm -hmm. is gonna help. I mean, I don't know. Uh, multivitamins, uh, exercise. Yeah, exercise. Uh, wear your mask, wash your hands. Mm -hmm. And then you're pretty much good to go. Oh, and cover your eyes. If you wear glasses, it's pretty simple, but they've said it can spread through your eyes. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, it's it's not. Anyways, I just wanted to say to you guys, it's not that bad here. What you're seeing on the news or if you're freaking out, it's really not that bad, you know. I think it actually might be more dangerous in America because we're not a culture where you do wear masks. So that's actually a, a bigger fear. Like if that makes it to like New York City or something, then, then I'd be more afraid. Mm -hmm. But... I think here it's gonna stop pretty fast, and even if you do seem to get sick, it, uh, they have you know systems in place to quarantine you and you know clean it up. Because Vietnam's been famous for even when the SARS outbreak happened in 2003, uh, Vietnam was like one like renowned like all over the world for like its efficiency of like cleaning up and like stopping the spread. I think only like 20 people or something got it in Vietnam during that time. I don't, so I don't know. I'll tell you, it's one of the biggest benefits of a single party system is like when they say like we need to do this, they're gonna do it. There's no voting, no there's no, there's no uh, discussions. You just do it. So it's actually been really nice. So, yeah, uh, stay safe though. Wear a mask, clean your hands, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted if anything changes. But as of now, as of February fourth all okay mm -hmm. it's more of like a relaxing time so yeah don't let the panic get to your head man that's the dangerous part serious the panic scares people more than anything else don't yeah. live up to that drama that that make makes you like wicker so yeah easy to get sick no anyways guys thanks for watching uh hopefully we'll be back to like normal vlogging but i'm not leaving the house unless we, like we don't leave unless we have to either yeah. for food or work and that's it so Stay tuned though, hopefully in another week or two you'll see some vlogging. Uh, we should be getting married soon, <laughs> legally. <laughs> we'll let you know, I'll make yeah. another video to yeah. tell you guys about that. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye Peace. bye.